this is like deja vu. Here's a board that you developed uh, probably a few years ago, correct? Quite a few years ago. And this has really a nice curvature connected with it. And I noticed that on the bottom it does have some dimples connected with it. Can you tell us about why you put the dimples on there? Uh, can, roughly the same reason that they're on a golf ball. Absolutely smooth, to make a long story short, absolutely smooth has problems. And if it's a big area and it's absolutely smooth with no breaks, it's got bigger problems. Okay, so I mean, it, how it do breaks you shape up the, the flow. Sure. How many do you put them? Put, how deep are they? All that kind of stuff. And how do you make them? And how do you convince a person that doesn't know anything about any of this, not only him or her, but the mother of him and her, convert, convince them to pay the extra money? Well, it's difficult. To get a high quality board like this, it does have a nice curvature with it. Most of the boards that you see, the inexpensive ones, are very flat, but this one is designed then to write up. Well, and of course, see, hold, hold it, you see, that's, that's, that's the problem. That's how it seems. That seems to make sense. Yes. But it's, no, it shouldn't have this much curve. It should be as flat as possible with very little kick in the nose. Only enough so your fingers are not in the water. Very and not a smooth curve, not a smooth kick in at that, but rather an abrupt breakaway, breakaway kick. Because if it's smooth, as we can demonstrate by, and anybody can find out himself, uh, dangle a spoon under a water faucet and watch how the water draws that bulbous part. Or squirt your hose when you're washing your car, although you go to everybody goes to Costco. You can <laughs> right. <laughs> Yes. But just run it at different speeds on the curbs. And run it also on your body, on your wetsuit, to see how the, the curvature is drawing the water to it. So it's always sucking. It's always going slower because of those curb, curvature. Not that brick neck speeds are required to have a good time. Okay. Well, we're going to use that to our advantage. Good. Because we're going to move the water back past this a lot faster. So by moving it faster, having the dimples is going to give us a greater reduction of friction, which means greater speed. So how are we going to do that? Well, on the bottom of this board, we come up with a very unique technique. We have some special material that is uh, placed on the back of it. It's a, an industrial Velcro. And what we do on our motor is we have a mating surface to that. So what we can do is we can actually place this motor right on there, and this thing locks in place. I mean, this takes about 20, 25 pounds of force just to pull this motor off. So in order to do that, we have to slide in here very careful and then gently peel it back up again. So now you can see what this would, what, what this would be like with a single motor connected with it. So this whole thing is probably maybe about eight pounds, something like that, and we put the batteries in. That's all we in it. but we can move it forward or backward depending on how you want to ride it. Okay, so this thruster then, the uh, JB1000 that we developed, will actually be one of the key thrusters that we'll be using in the stand-up paddle boards, uh, maybe the, the tri-fold, uh, as well as the uh, boogie boards for propulsion. Sure. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Tom, this was all your idea, so we kind of blame this on you for inventing this incredible Mori boogie board and making it available to the public, to which probably 100, 200 different manufacturers have tried to copy, never made it quite as good, and they're never a Mori. Oh, there's never another Mori. <laughs> In motion, everything's alive. We're fully alive here. It's chilly, and right. I'm kind of... But I'm more alive than I was when I was comfortable. That's probably true. We're always in a continual state of flux and yes. learning. Gotcha. I agree. And it fun, Tom, right? And fun. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Well, thanks, Tom, for being here. I mean, My this was pleasure. really great. Uh, it's always nice to talk to you. Thank you, John.